Welcome guys to the Carnival Panorama Ship Tour. We're gonna to be doing things a little bit differently this time around, but we just wanted to explain to you some key points. So we're gonna start off on deck 15. Um, this is forward, and this is going to be Serenity. This is for 21 and over, and this is the best place that Cat and Mouse loves to relax and just enjoy some quiet time on the ship. Here at Serenity, you have plenty of lounge beds, loungers, clamshells, which is our favorite. There is also a Serenity bar. You also have a hot tub. And bonus, you actually have a salad bar that you can have on sea days. And the salad includes all the fixings. Moving down one, we are now on deck 14, spa deck, where all the spa state rooms are, from ocean view, inside, and balcony. Moving along to deck 12. Deck 12 contains your spa, your waterworks, and your sports deck. First is going to be the entrance to the Cloud 9 Spa. This is where you're gonna get all your treatments. You're also going to have the access to the thermal suite, which you can buy day passes for or cruise long passes for. Um, they each come with different prices for it, as well as your treatment rooms, the gym, and other spa amenities. You can always check the prices on the Carnival Hub app before the cruise or on the cruise, as well as the fun times that are left in the staterooms on a daily. Walking across deck 12 forward, you're gonna see the Carnival Waterworks. This is the deck where all the kids are gonna have fun. They're gonna get wet, they're gonna splash, but don't worry, there's a seating area to your left and there's two big slides for us adult kids so we can have fun too. Walking across deck 12, you are going to have more lounge chairs overlooking the main pool area, which contains the large big screen TV. Walking towards aft of the ship is the sports deck area. Moving on to deck 12 aft, you're gonna meet up with the jogging track. This jogging track runs around the entire sports square, as they call it, which contains the clubhouse and the mini golf and exercise machines on the outside. This is a fun place for all families to enjoy the ship.
On deck 12's rear of the ship, you get a great view of the tides pool, which is located on deck 10. But this is also a great view for whale tail watching. On deck 12, you're gonna climb up these stairs, and this is going to take you to the sky ride entrance and the ropes course. The sky ride is like riding a bicycle on a track that goes around the aft of the ship to see the views and the typical ropes course. Now, the sky ride is an upcharge. During our cruise, it was not functioning, so look at your times guides, because sometimes they're not working, but it is an extra upcharge to ride this, as well as the ropes course, as you can see here, and a few putt-putt areas. On deck 11 is a lounging area on the outside. This also contains at the aft of the ship, the two restaurants of Gigi's Kitchen and Cucino Capitano, which we found out you were only able to take the aft elevators to get to on deck 11, or you can enter in through the Lido Marketplace on deck 10. But this is a nice place to come and lounge and see the aft of the ship. Plenty of loungers and seating areas all on the back. It also gives you great views of the sky ride. So as you can see here, um, this is the sky ride of what it looks like from the bottom and you can have great views from this point. Now we are on deck 10. This is now the beach pool, one of the main areas of the ship. As you see, there's a lot of lounges and a lot of seating, and it leads you into Cat and Mouse Adventure's favorite place, Guy's Burger Joint. And now we're gonna go into the marketplace. So this is deck 10 aft. And this is where you're going to have all the food, basically the buffet area, as they call it. You're gonna get your coffees, ice creams, desserts, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, if you don't go to any of the dining places. But this is, it basically wraps around towards the back of the aft, heading to the tides pool. Now entering deck 10 aft, you're gonna see the seafood shack. Seafood shack is where you get all your seafood, but there is an upcharge for it. Now, you're gonna see a lot of lounges here and you're gonna see hot tubs here. This is in the aft of the ship. Now heading to the other side is Pizzeria de Capitano. This is a pizzeria that's open from 9 a.m. to 4 a.m. and you can get pizza freshly made, one of my favorites. Now back inside the marketplace on deck 10, 
you're going to see Cucina de Capitano and Gigi's Asian Kitchen. These are two specialty restaurants. Um, Cucina de Capitano does have a lunch that's free, but these are an upcharge restaurant. Now you can enter through the marketplace or the aft elevators will take you up to the 11th floor for these restaurants. So back into the marketplace, going towards the forward of the ship, you're going to be back at the main pool area where you're gonna walk into the Blue Iguana Cantina. This is where you're gonna get all your burritos and tacos for breakfast, lunch, or even dinner. This is also going to contain the Blue Iguana um, Tequila Bar and the Red Frog Rum Bar. This is where you're gonna get all your alcoholic drinks as well as your sodas. has smart elevators. These elevators are a little bit different than your normal elevators. Basically, you're gonna to go to a keypad and you're gonna press the floor that you want and it's gonna give you a letter as to which elevator belongs to you. Don't just jump on any elevator because these elevators don't have buttons on the inside. So if you make a mistake, you're going for a long ride. Deck six through nine are all staterooms. Deck five promenade, now this is where all your shopping needs happen. This is also the entrance to the liquid lounge, your main theater. Deck 5 Makeship is now going to be your specialty restaurant. Here you have Banzai Teppanyaki. This restaurant is now an upcharge. You now have Piano Bar 88. They're playing music, playing piano, you're sitting down and having drinks. Here is part of your promenade and some of your casino. Here is the Banzai Sushi and the famous Alchemy Bar. Now we're coming up on Carnival's Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse. This restaurant is also an upcharge. Moving along, we are now at Pixel's Photo Gallery. So this is the area where you can see all your digital photos of all the pictures you've taken around the ship. You could also see them on the Hub app as well as in your staterooms. Now we have entered my favorite, Pig and Anchor. That's right, we are now entering Flavor Town. Guys, Pig and Anchor is an upcharge on the Carnival Panorama. And as you see, there's a brew house. They're brewing their own beer. Now we're approaching Java Blue Cafe and the Shake Spot, and this is in Ocean Plaza. So Java Blue is where you can get your specialty coffees, and Ocean Plaza is just a stage area where they can play games and have special events.
And now we are entering the Havana Bar. The Havana Bar is a specialty place that is just for Havana guests. They have their own staterooms, bars, restaurants, pool area, and hot tubs. On deck five, you also have the plaza outdoor area that leads to Guy's Pig and Anchor. This particular Guy's Pig and Anchor is only open on sea days where you can get lunch and that one is not an upcharge. Deck four, the mezzanine. This area is going to contain the Panorama Atrium, the Panorama Shops, so the fun shops where you can do carnival item shopping, as well as the Panorama Casino. Moving towards deck four, the aft of the ship, you're going to be at the Heroes Tribute Bar, the art gallery and the limelight lounge. The limelight lounge is the comedy area or specialty event area. Now at the rear aft of the ship on deck four mezzanine is the Vista Restaurant. The Vista Restaurant is the restaurant for your anytime dining. This also has some conference rooms as well. The Vista Restaurant is a two floor restaurant and you will make your reservations on the Carnival Hub We are now on deck three, and this deck is your panorama, atrium, and bar. There's also a small dance floor. You have your carnival fun, your fun hub, your guest services desk, and there's also your Horizon restaurant. Thank you guys for joining us on the Carnival Panorama Ship Tour. We had a lot of fun. Stay tuned for more videos. And don't forget, if you're new to our channel, click like and subscribe, share our channel, and help us grow. Bye, everyone. Bye.